everyone welcome back to another video on Airy Tech Academy so today we have taken few questions from the recent exam which was conducted by UPSC in April so these questions they are uh, they can be categorized under miscellaneous information so they are relevant from uh, art and culture point of view so today I have taken two questions which are from two different fields and we will try to understand that okay we should have this information as well so the question which is there in front of us is talking about the 13th century text Lekha Paddhati gives us information on which one of the following topics. So this is pretty direct question if you know then only you can attempt if you don't know then there is no point that you can attempt better to uh, leave such questions okay and uh, especially why I am taking this question that okay what if UPSC may ask this question okay. So literature is one of the important thing and medville this is from medville uh, period so that is also again a new attention of uh, new attention area of UPSC okay so let's understand it so Lekha Paddhati is basically to give you the answer first it is the art of writing so Lekha Lekha means the speci specimen or the actual documents so their document means Lekha Lekha Paddhati was basically it was a collection it is a collection of Sanskrit documents written between 8 and 15 centuries during Chalukya rule in Gujarat okay so uh, basically these contain lot of information so uh, these uh, this book especially was written as a guide for official scribes or the professional letter writers where they will uh, learn how uh, how the administration and these collection especially tells us about public transaction administration rule of drafting land grants how the treaties were uh, drafted and written between kings credit and banking system how the documents were maintained mortgage deeds creditor judicial disputes private letters even so it talks about variety of things so here have a look so the all these informations or uh, the areas have been covered letter like point number 21 letter to father-in-law letter to son-in-law point number eight letter to friend or you can say uh, the uh, fourth point teacher sends blessing to disciple so this document especially contains the rules for drafting variety of document like documents related to land grant treaties between rulers or even the personal things so it tells us about the socio-political life of that time how things were written okay so this is about Lekha Paddhati. So it was written between 8th to 15th century. It contains the documents. It is a collection of all the Sanskrit documents written between 8th to 15th century. So this book is collection of documents. It is not a book which is written. Okay. So mind it. Uh, remember this. And it is uh, that time. It, uh, it, it is basically from Gujarat region. In Gujarat region at that time Chalukyas were ruling. Okay. And you can say that it is an episto, uh, epistolary manual means lit, it is a literary work related to writing of letters so a literary work related to writing of letters basically we have our option as art of writing so it is a epistolary ma manual okay and it tells about the socio-political life of that point how was the socio-political life at that point of time so the information as we have given that these are few of the specimen okay in this what letter is uh, uh, what kind of letter has been written point number 12 you can read a letter to the wife so personal and political life as well so Chalukya kingdom at that point they were ruling in Gujarat so all documents related to that point of time social and political life it also tells us about slavery so it gives us insights into the social political life of the period and it tells us that how uh, it has given it gives us information about female slavery and the ways women were pushed into slavery and their treatment and interestingly while Lekha Paddhati tells us extensively about female slavery it hardly talks about male slavery Lekha Paddhati also tells us that females gave themselves to slavery voluntarily too due to in order to avoid poverty and abandonment yes so sometimes if it is given in the statement that we can get to know about the slavery during 13th century or early medieval period which text talks about it so Lekha Paddhati is a text which is talking about it okay so this is the one question if it is coming directly if you know then only you can mark it so it was more like information sharing then we will have a look at the second question okay so now we will be talking about the second question of the day the second question is seeing the terms pinaka and smudge mentioned in news recently referred to what 
so option a cruise message so if we have option we can eliminate we know if we have read then we can easily eliminate and yes let me tell you these areas are again one of the important areas these are uh, like if we read them then we can at least attempt two to three questions because in 16 and 17 upsc has asked directly that what is ins astra dharani so it was a, a torpedo which was launched at point of time by or it was adopted by it was a missile it was a torpedo adopted by indian naval system indian army indian navy basically okay so pinaka and smudge they were mentioned in news so what are they cruise missile no nuclear powered submarine no we will discuss about that uh, rocket launcher system yes weaponized drones no so the answer is rocket launcher system now comes that why they were in news they were in news because uh, okay first of all this is pinaka pinaka is a multi barrel rocket launcher so it is a multi barrel rocket launcher you can say mbrl system it is named after shiva's bow and it can fire up to 12 rockets within a period within a span of 44 seconds so as you can see 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 12 rockets are there on one tatra truck and they can be launched uh, within a span of 44 seconds okay and uh, this is pinaka is there since with us with indian army since 1980s it was used in uh, kargil war as well and uh, it the the range it has been developed by drdo so it is uh, uh, an indigenous system and the maximum range traditionally was 40 kilometers but uh, the improved version has 60 kilometers now we are going we have a, a pinaka enhanced version so er we call it er so pinaka er is uh, extended range sorry not enhanced version so enhanced version is known as extended range and uh, it is also it can also give a round of a series of uh, uh, missiles can be launched and why it was in news in order to understand that we should know that when we were having problems with china on china border so india deployed pinaka and smudge rocket system on china border so this was news which was there in october november in 2021 and this question was asked by upc in april 2022 okay so smudge is also a, a rocket launcher system where multiple missiles can be launched so basically it is the longest range conventional rocket here uh, the range is 90 kilometers and 48 rockets can be uh, shot through it in 40s in the span of 40 seconds so this we have taken from or we are using this technology is from russia so we are using this system okay so rocket launcher systems pinaka and smudge they were in news because of china issue china problem and also because now we are the extended uh, range the defined range uh, uh, which is which was traditionally traditionally it was 30 kilometers then 60 kilometers the extended range can go up to even more than that so this now drdo has devolved it and drdo has given the rights to industry partners to build it so industry partners have built it and the testing was also done in say, during the same time so that that's why also it that's why it was also in use for that okay so it is being used by indian army next let's discuss about cruise missiles so talking about cruise missiles so cruise missiles we have brahmos brahmos 2 and nirbhay so nirbhay is our uh, in, uh, our own it is uh, it has been domestically uh, indigenous you can say and brahmos is uh, we have developed it al along with russia so first is supersonic brahmos 2 is hypersonic and nirbhay nirbhay is subsonic so this subsonic supersonic is decided by the their speed so mac 0.8 is the 0 0.8 is the speed of nirbhay so that is less than the speed of sound that is less than one mac that's why it is subsonic okay and supersonic and hypersonic they are above uh, one mac supersonic and uh, hypersonic it, the, uh, the the speed is mac 7 and the kilometer variation is also varying so you can see that nirbhaya's kilometer range is more 1000 to 1500 kilometers so cruise missiles okay so these are the cruise missiles for us next we have nuclear powered submarine so in india we have two nuclear powered submarine with the indian navy so the indigenous one is arihant class so that is nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine okay and ins chakra one we have taken that is of akula two class that we have borrowed from russia we have taken on lease from russia so this is about uh, nuclear powered submarine so we have nuclear powered submarine our indigenous is arihan so 
technical details we are not discussing but yes INS Arihant is propelled by 82 83 megawatt pressurized light water reactor so pressurized light water reactor at its core is there with enriched uranium fuel so it is being fed by light water reactor and enriched uranium fuel okay and the name Arihant means destroyer of enemies so it was also developed by DRDO Indian Navy and uh, Russian scientists were there, technicians were there, Department of Atomic Energy was involved because nuclear energy is involved here. Okay, so this is about the nuclear power submarine, rocket launches we have discussed, now coming to weaponized drones. So weaponized drones we have in India, so Rustam 2, it is not still operational, it is in design stage and it is capable of surveillance and carrying weapons as well, that's why it is a weaponized uh, drone. Then we have uh, Tapas, Tapas was there in, uh, this is a Ghatak drone, Ghatak drone is being developed by uh, DRDO uh, uh, but it is again in uh, the information is highly classified and uh, this is uh, it, the project has got a flagship status this year. So drones basically they are being used by armed forces from uh, long time it was even used in cargo uh, uh, duration also but till now we were not having any indigenous weapon carrier or sur for surveillance for surveillance purpose we had borrowed from Israel but now we are developing the drone as a weapon which can be used so uh, we are developing this the present images of uh, Ghatak, Ghatak drone earlier we had Tapas but it was only for aerial sur surveillance okay. So Rustam and Ghatak, they are capable of carrying weapons as well. So drones, significantly they are getting uh, more prominence, especially during lockdown period and especially government has launched a scheme, this one, Swamitwa. So Swamitwa full form is survey of village and mapping with improvised technology in village area. Through this, what government is trying to do, government is aiming to provide property rights to the uh, residents of rural areas by doing this drone survey so uh, with the help of drones they are going to uh, do the drone based surveillance system uh, and based on that they are going to provide the uh, property rights e-rights so this uh, that is another application so i just kept it because this is a recent scheme which has been asked which has been announced by the government and we have also asked this in our telegram channel so that way drones you can link okay so with this we have discussed all the four options and two varieties of questions we have kept today and as the exams are approaching here so we will not make heavy videos the videos will be somewhere 12 to 13 minutes of length and uh, we yes the announcement is that uh, till 20th of may we will be making these revision videos so that uh, next two weeks you can utilize for revision and we don't want to bombard you all with lot of information lot of videos that you should not consider it as just an, another material extra material so we will give time for revision as well till then we will try to cover all the important topics from the recent exam so that it can help you okay so all the best let us know if you need anything and uh, if any other doubts are there we will it will be our pleasure to help you all okay take care and bye bye have a good day revise very well